hey this is Brosom Becky and I'm always grateful for your support subscribing to my YouTube channel and if you have not subscribed make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell now today we are discussing about reverse psychology I'm very sure maybe you have heard about reverse psychology and reverse psychology is simple about reverse now let me ask you a question especially those who are in a relationship it could be um a relationship that you are living together with your partner maybe you're married or it's a relationship that you're planning to get married or it's just an intimate relationship so the question is are you in a relationship so if you're in that relationship now let's discuss that so let me ask you this question do you find yourself that you're the only one calling and you call, you know, those non-stop calls until your partner sometimes always complain that you're nagging. You're finding yourself, you are too teary every time you are crying because sometimes you call, they don't pick. Do you find yourself that you are the only one pushing the relationship? You are the one reminding them. Yeah, they didn't remember your birthday they didn't remember these you're the one controlling pushing oh when are we going home when are you going to meet my parents when are you doing this when are you taking me for a holiday they are not contributing you are the only one you're the only one you find yourself that you're the only one asking them where they are you know what are we doing next when what are we doing this weekend they never come up with plans you're the only one so if you are that kind of a person, can I say that you are a needy partner? And probably some of the reasons that make us to become needy partner in a relationship is because we suffocate our partners too much and what they did, they ran further and further away from us. Now, let me speak to women, especially women who are in a marriage. And you're always asking your husband, calling them 10 times in a day. What time are you coming? Why are you late? Crying every time you're late. And because they got used to that, they, they got used to your nagging. They became suffocated. And what they did, they became socialized to that. So what do they do? They tell you, I'm coming. Well, they switch off the phone. So what do you do? You start crying. So as you do that, you're thinking you're bringing them closer to you. So today I want to teach you something. The more you suffocate them, the more you call them, the more they run away from you. What they do, sometimes they'll get other relationship out there or they'll get some distraction or they'll pass by um, the rock or bar because they don't want that nagging. Because even when they get to the house, you're still nagging. And even men, we also get so used to your nagging and so we, we the intimacy goes. And that's why I want to teach you about reverse psychology. Some of this neediness stem out of our own fears. Sometimes feeling um, we are not, uh, our self-esteem is low, so we are not good enough, like they are, they are, they are partners, they are friends. So we have fear of ourselves inside us, fear from inside. The other thing that makes us needy, we are jealous, or we could be going through something. We don't have our own life, we don't have hobbies, we, we, we stopped living. We leave them. And so in reverse psychology today, I want, if you want to save that relationship, if you want them to come back to you, I want you step back. And if you are the one who have been calling, stop calling. They will not go anywhere. If you have been calling 10 calls, so just call one. If, if, it's, if it's your partner, for example, it's you are the woman here. He has not come home. You know, at this time, don't give him calls. Just call maybe one to just know. I just wanted to know whether you are safe, period. And when they come, don't cry. Don't, don't show that neediness. Don't show that desperation. Stop being needy. Stop. If you're the one who keeps on texting, 
now and then asking for plants now start having your own life that's what we call reverse psychology try to do something you know shock them start having your own life what are your hobbies many people who are in a relationship they forget themselves and they start doing things that make their partners happy at their own cost now what is your hobby do you have anything that you love start doing that you know have a life and if you keep on asking them when are we when is my birthday if they forget god remember they don't like they don't love you because you are not a priority so stop making them a priority and when you do that because of that shock you are making them reflect and rethink what could be happening i am missing something i am missing someone then they'll start coming back to look for you and when they come back looking for you stop being needy be firm respect boundaries have your own life you know be you do you and build your own esteem that will be one of the strongest relationship where they come back to you to look for you but the more you push them and give them more love that they don't need they run away and they start vomiting because they feel suffocated they feel hate for you not love for you sometimes they don't know what to do that's why they would come late because they don't want to be nagged that's why they switch off their phones because they know you'll call them so stop stop whatever you've been doing too much now do it to yourself give yourself love distract all that by doing things that you love start loving you start doing you start lifting you look for friends who can lift you do things that you like start living your life they'll come for you thank you so much don't forget to hit that notification bell so that it can inform you when i upload the next video thank you so much